When we set up our domain, you may remember we had the option of setting a forest functional level and a domain functional level. Let's go over here to our Active Directory Domains and Trusts. I'm going to go ahead and right click on there and click Properties. And you'll see here that this is a domain functional level of Windows Server 2016 and a forest functional level of Windows Server 2016. Now, I'm actually on a Windows Server 2019, but Microsoft has not at the time of this video made a Windows Server 2019 functional level. What this refers to are the capabilities of this domain controller. In other words, what are the roles that it has on it? What, uh, because Windows Server 2016 has different, uh, a few different roles and differences in functionality than 2019. And Server 2012 has some differences than 2016 and so forth. So when I add a domain controller, if I have, say, all Server 2012s on my domain, and I'm adding a new domain controller, but it's a Server 2016 domain controller, I can set the functional level to a Server 2012 functional level, and that way all of the domain controllers are compatible with each other. And then later on, when I have all Windows Server 2016s, I can raise that functional level to a Windows Server 2016. And that's what those functional levels are all about.